I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on distance, time and speed. In this video, we have three examples, all relating to the speed of train and the distance covered by it. Now, most of the time, when you have such situations, the speed is given in kilometers per hour and the time to be found is in seconds or in minutes, right? So we need to understand how do we convert the units. So the very first question here is to convert the units. So the question is to write 90 kilometers per hour in meters per second. Question number two, a train 100 meter long is running at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour. How much time will it take to cross a person standing at the platform? Question number three is, a train with speed of 30 km per hour takes 30 seconds to cross a person standing on the platform. Find the length of the train. Right. So that gives us the foundation for our series. Let's begin with the conversion. Answer for question number one will be, we are given 90 km per hour. To convert the units, we know 1 km is thousand meters right so we can write this as one kilometer equals to one thousand meters and one hour in seconds can be written as 16 to 60 right so one hour is 60 times 60 seconds so that becomes your conversion factor now let's look into this conversion factor in more details when you convert these zeros they get cancelled right and now 6 can be divided by 2 and also 10 can be divided by 2 right so when you do that you get 5 here and 3 here so basically the conversion factor is let me rewrite this we will also cancel the units kilometer will get cancelled with kilometer hours will get cancelled with hours clear so we get 90 and this conversion factor 6 times 3 is 18 times 5 over 18 meters per second. You see that. So remember this particular formula which is let me summarize here that is 1 kilometer per hour is equal to 5 over 18 meters per second right so that is very important to remember especially when you are doing multiple choice questions and time is critical right? now to find this value we could actually simplify it further both divided by 9 9 times 2 right and 9 times 10 and then we can divide this by 2 so we get sorry uh, 2 times 5 right is 10 and 2 times 1 so basically we get this as equal to 25 meters per second is that clear to you right so you see this numbers like 90 60 and 30 can be evenly converted to meters per second do you see that right so for 90 we get 25 meters per second as the units so that is the first part now Let's see how to do question number two and three on a fresh page. Question number two is, a train 100 meter long is running at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour. How much time will it take to cross a person standing at a platform, right? So basically think like this. A person is standing here, right? The train whose length is 100 meters starts crossing the person that basically means that the train is going with the speed of we can write speed of 60 kilometers per hour and the time is given to us as equal to uh, we need to find right how much time will it take but we know the length of the train so length is distance right so distance is 100 meters so you see the units have come to meters right so basically we have to figure out how much time will this length be covered 
when it is moving with 60 kilometers per hour right this person is stationary so the whole train has to pass now we can use this particular relation between distance speed and time right so this triangle will help us solve all the problems related to distance speed and time so we'll use distance as d speed s and time t right so we know distance is product of speed and time and that is how we are going to solve most of our problems right now before we apply the formula we have to take care of the units right so we can write this 60 kilometers per hour as what as 60 times if you remember it was 5 over 18 right so we can straight away multiply by 5 over 18 right that gives you in meters per second right that gives you in meters per second is that clear to you correct now we can cancel the terms both can be divided by 6 6 times 3 and 6 times 10 so the speed can now be written as 50 over 3 meters per second correct so we have distance as meters time we can find in seconds the relation is distance of speed into time and now from here we can say time will be what so time will be ratio of distance and speed over speed right so in our case distance is 100 meters and the speed is 50 over 3 meters per second do you see the units meters meters get cancelled right so we get 100 times 3 over 50 which is that goes 2 times and we get 6 seconds 3 times 2 so the answer is 6 seconds is that clear now these are very interesting numbers and they are often seen in multiple choice test paper so once you do a couple of questions uh, with such values be very fast for you to answer any question here is the last question a train with a speed of 30 kilometers per hour so speed is given to us as 30 kilometers per hour which we can write as 30 times 5 over 18 meters per second correct you can simplify this dividing by 3 we get 10 and 3 times 6 and then by 2 right 5 or that is equal to 25 over 3 meters per second correct now it takes 30 seconds to cross person standing off on the platform so time taken t is 30 seconds find the length of the train so that is the distance right so now we can use our triangle once again which is distance speed and time triangle so distance d equals to speed into t time so we can now find the distance as the product of speed and time so distance d which is also equals to the length of the train is equal to speed into time which is 25 over 3 times 30 and the units will be in meters correct so meters per second when you multiply by so 25 over 3 is in units of meters per second and 30 is in units of seconds right so seconds and seconds cancel so you get units as meters and that is 25 meters is that clear to you so these questions become extremely simple once you understand that the units have to be converted and the conversion factor as we learn is one kilometer per hour is basically equal to 5 over 18 meters per second is that clear to you so that conversion and this particular distance speed time relation helps us to solve all these questions i hope it makes sense feel free to write a comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great so we'll take up more complicated questions in the next video thank you